So everybody, welcome back. Weeks three and four. So hopefully you did a great job on this. Um, I actually have not, you know, like looked in to see who sent pictures and videos and all that stuff, but I'm sure that plenty of people did. The first one again was to, to limber up, heal any uh, injuries and, and kind of build that foundation so that we can move forward. And then this phase, we're gonna work on muscular endurance. That'll be a couple of phases where we work on that. So this is all, think of this as all resistance work, okay? So a little bit of stabilization in there, but mostly is gonna be resistance focused and strength focused. Again, weeks three and four, first exercise is gonna be trunk twists. So trunk twists, we've talked about before, and that's when the, the current is coming by you, and you can either use a dumbbell if you have it, if you have it, you don't need to send, I don't have it, you don't need to send it, we know not everyone has it. If you have it, that'll work. A, a kickboard will work, a cookie sheet will work, okay? So the, so you want the kickboard in the middle of the stream and she's gonna do 20 reps and you're flexing and squeezing all that good stuff in that core and really, really get a twist in there, Mary. Now, why don't you just spin around real quick and do the other side so everybody can see. There you go. Again, you can use a dumbbell, you can use a kickboard, you can use a cookie sheet. If, it's, if you need it really easy, you don't have to use anything, just use your arms. There you go. Working all of that midsection, all that core and the trunk twist. Each side, 20 per side. Remember 20, you're gonna hear that again this phase. Number two, sun gods. Sounds weird, it is weird. Small circles to the front, small circles to the rear, one minute each. Your shoulders are gonna catch fire, you're welcome. Next, one-legged squat. On your one-legged squat, you're gonna put a foot up on a step, and we'll talk about that a little bit. You can either use a lower step, you can use a higher step, you can go down, but ultimately what you're gonna do is straight up and down, and you're not gonna come all the way out and rest. You're gonna go up and down and leave that tension on, and it's gonna get hard. We're looking to make your muscles burn, but safely, because obviously we're in the water. One leg squat. 20 each leg and you're not coming all the way up so you're going down as far as is comfortable for you some of these are a challenge for our mary as she is not that tall of a person if you were taller you should definitely be going lower than me yes <laughs> or maybe as low as me to your chin to the water <laughs> <laughs> number four it's going to be step downs you're always going to see step downs in our recommendation because it's so good for your knees you can't do enough and this again you're going to see that again so just Figure that one is like the foundation of your house. It's never going anywhere. If you can't get all the way down for your heel, then work towards that. You don't have to do it all in one day. Rome was not built in a day, but you will get stronger and you will be able to go all the way down till that heel hits the floor. Calf raises. All right, so calf raise, all you have to do is you're gonna get on a step. If you're real strong, do one leg at a time. So the alteration is, if you're not that strong and it's not comfortable or you have some kind of a medical issue that, that's not allowing this, you can do both at the same time, hanging your, your heels off the step. We have it as 20 each leg. Number six, bicep curls. So we intentionally did not use the dumbbells for this and, and not because not everyone has them because you can get them on Amazon. You can get different kinds. There's lots out there. We have a couple different kinds here, but I wanna use the bands. And we're going to show you when Mary demonstrates, you're going to hook the band around the bar, arms out with the exercise bands, and we're going to curl, bicep curls. Okay, 20 reps. All right. Okay, this next exercise is banded bicep curls. Why, why, um, how come we switched? I am too short to do these in the swim spot without being pulled around. So Ben She's is going to. She is tall. <laughs> So Ben is going to demonstrate these next exercises. So banded bicep curls. He's just pulling those bands up towards his ears and releasing, not losing any of that tension in the bands. And you could see we just attached the bands to the bar on top of the swim spot jets. So you're gonna do 20 of those. What you don't want to do for any of these or any of the things we're going to do is rush your form. Your form needs to be slow, precise, and steady. Now, I'm going to add, add something to that. If you think you're doing this, let's say you're doing these bicep curls and it's not hard enough for you, 
there are ways to make it harder without adding more bands or more weight like you would in the gym. You can squeeze those muscles and flex them all the way through that range of motion and it will, will burn. It will, it will cause more resistance, more, more discomfort, and more benefit. Band rows. Band rows, and, and again, we intentionally left out the rowing kit. Everyone has the rowing kit, but I don't want you to use it. So on the band row, right after the bicep, now, now some of this stuff you're starting to get into proper sequence. So we want the, these exercises in this sequence. There's a reason. The reason is if you do the bicep curls first, biceps are part of the back motion. When you do the back rows, you're actually going to be pre-tired. It's going to make it a little more challenging. If you did them real hard, it's going to make them a lot more challenging. You're welcome again. You're trying to squeeze your shoulder blades. Tend that I had my hand right in the center of your shoulder blades, and you were trying to pinch it with those shoulder blades. That's how you do that properly. Number eight, tricep extensions. What we're trying to do here is, is do exercises that are challenging and that also you're not switching all the equipment around in the swim spa the whole entire time. Ben is holding on to both of the handles, but you could also do it with just one. And he is pulling those bands up so his arms are straight and then keeping those elbows in as close as possible. Number nine, band chest press. I like the, the band to come underneath my arm and you're going to come up and squeeze that chest like you were trying to pinch someone's hand right there in the middle of your chest chest press nice and slow you're squeezing the whole time and again if this if you got done with one round you feel great guys there's no charge to do it twice do it again if you get done the second time do it again okay you can do this as many times as you want to we're aiming for three times a week ready one through nine weeks three and four we'll see you out there <laughs>